ladies and gents, this is your girl Amanda. I'm coming to you with another tutorial. And as you saw by the title, this is a color pop tutorial. So this is included in my Diva on a Budget makeup series. And as y'all know, and if y'all have not heard about ColourPop, ColourPop is inexpensive and affordable because y'all know I'm a diva that balls out on a budget. So everything I use is affordable and inexpensive. So y'all know that ColourPop is everywhere. ColourPop is popular i'm thinking it's getting more popular than mac and as far as price wise go it is so much cheaper than mac as well and i think that's what a lot of people are going for the cheaper quality products this is a really great product i finally bought some i bought four colors and i couldn't be more surprised and more happy at how great of a quality product this is oh my god so um first in the packet it comes with a card it says color pop thank you and on the card it says hi amanda tyfba thank you for being awesome and it says xoxo color pop and it also comes with other cards that looks like this and it's just giving you um, tips and tricks on how to apply the shadows and how to apply the um, the um, blush because they do now sell um, blush. But before, um, when they first started out, I believe they were only selling um, eyeshadows, and then they started bringing more things in, like the lippy sticks. So the eyeshadows and the lippy sticks are five dollars a piece. You cannot beat that with a stick and the um, blushes are eight dollars um, a piece which that is still really really great so um, the ones that I got were um, drift which looks like this I'm going to show you how it looks it looks like this and y'all these eyeshadows are creamy with a wet consistency um, but they feel so good to the touch y'all it's amazing the next color I got was so quiche this color is so beautiful so beautiful look at that color wow beautiful 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 color okay next color i got was um uh, bandit and i got this because i thought this would be a great transition color and it is so gorgeous and although this is a matte it does feel just like the other ones which are more like a shimmer but this is the uh bandit and it looks like this that's bandit and the last one is bay which looks like this look at that color oh wow 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 gorgeous gorgeous colors and also um, on the uh, tricks and tips they also state that you need to um, seal these containers really tightly because I think they do dry out really fast if you do not um, screw them on really tightly because when I first got them they were screwed on extremely tight um, and I'm guessing they um, t are telling you to screw them on really tight because they are wet in consistency so that is my little review and if you keep watching um, for the next clip you will see that I will do a makeup look which is the makeup look that I have on right now and I will show you the look. And I used three of the four colors that I bought to um, get this look. So if you want to keep watching, if you want to see how I got this look. 
keep watching and make sure you thumbs this video up make sure you like make sure you subscribe and make sure you share this video this is just a demo of the ColourPop cosmetic products i have already did my face um, I will list the products at the end of this video. Right now, I am just putting a transition color in my crease from an e.l.f. palette. It is a nude color, and I'm just using windshield wiper motions to put that into my crease. Now, I'm taking ColourPop's Bandit and putting it in my crease. It is a gorgeous brown color, and I'm just using a um, LA Colors professional brush to do that. This is my first time using that brush and actually for the price which was two dollars for the pack it is a pretty darn good brush. I am liking it so far. So now I, I am putting so quiche on the inner third of my eye right here. I am using the um, LA Colors professional brush that's the other brush that i got it is awesome i'm liking it and now i am putting um drift on the outer corner of my eyes and um color pop they were saying that um it works better using your fingers which i actually tried on the other eye but then i started using the brush and the brush did fairly well so I was like to um, save time and to save a lot of mess on my fingers, I used the brush. And as y'all can see, those colors are popping. They are some gorgeous colors. And for the price, yes, 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 yes. I'm loving them so far. Okay, I'm just blending that out. And just um, wiping up products with a baby wipe. Okay, now I'm taking a cream color from the Birthday Suit Hard Candies palette. And I'm just putting that um, on my brow bone. And I'm just buffing that out. I'm liking that uh, brow bone color. Like I said, it's from the um, Hard Candy Birthday Suit Palette. And now I'm taking my favorite uh, liquid liner, which is the LA Colors Liquid Liner in Black, and I'm making my cat eye. And y'all know I always have a cat eye. So I'm doing that, making that line straight. Yes, I am over here making it straight as possible. I have to have it straight all the time, and y'all know that. <laughs> now I'm taking some Cherry Blossoms 3, no, 213 lashes. These are some new lashes that I decided to try, um, and I am liking them so far. I'm loving, I love the Cherry Blossom Demi Wispy lashes, but I decided to get the 213s to try them out, and I like them. And I'm trying to get those doggone lashes on. Y'all know sometimes they can be a little tricky. <laughs> but they are on. Okay, now I'm just adding a little um, e.l.f. gel liner in black. In my waterline. Using some of the LA Colors Lash Flash Mascara to blend in the, my, my lashes into the false lashes. And now I'm just taking an LA Colors Mascara and putting it on my bottom lash line to make those lashes pop. And this is the completed look. And continue to watch for the products. 